you know I love my readers when I look like this early in the morning and I'm still willing to get on camera to help you with this. I want you to feel good. Do your own research, but see if this helps. I'm getting to head out for a run, so I thought this was the perfect time to show you the taping method that I've been using to help stabilize my knee. This is going to work for a number of different things. At the moment, I have a meniscus tear, a little bit of an ACL strain, and a cat. But this is the same idea in general. It's helping to stabilize the knee. And for me, I have tried braces, compression sleeves, and the problem was it was always moving the entire knee. And I really just need support in a specific spot to make me feel better. So for me, the tape is a little bit like magic. If I put it on right, I will leave it on for at least five days. It goes through sweat, it goes through the shower. Um, and I feel good. My knee feels supported. There is not pain when I try to run or even just walk, um, which is why I really like it so much. Now, that being said, you might have noticed I said, if I put it on right. It's taken me some trial and error, and there are definitely days where I can tell I put it on and it's still just not quite right. So be prepared for that. Definitely listen to all the information about the stretching and those kinds of things. All right, first up, you need to make sure you are not wet. So if you're straight out of the shower, wait till your skin dries. If you have any lotions, you need to clean off your leg. You really want this to stick because if you take the time to cut it and put it on, you want it to stay. I cut two strips that I'm gonna put here. So I tend to go with them a little bit longer. At first, I think I was trying to conserve tape and I made them kind of short and it just wasn't as much support. The other tip that they talk about and I ignored, but really and truly works, round the corners. When you're putting this on and you want it to last for days, those rounded corners just help to make sure that it doesn't get caught on clothing, um, which is gonna pull it off and I want it to stay. Once the magic happens, I want it to stay. Step one, I found that for me, sitting with my leg at a little bit of this 45 degree angle was ideal. You definitely don't want to be sitting at 90 and straight isn't really giving you the right bend in your leg. So I'm going to take that first piece and what you do is you basically just kind of twist so that you're ripping right through the middle of the tape. You never want your hands to touch the tape because your oils are what's going to make it stick less. All right, so peeling back. Now here's where you have to kind of learn about all the stretch. So the best way to describe it is you pull till it's totally tight. So they would call that 100%. And then I'm going to back off just a little to what I would consider 80%. And I'm placing it just below, a little bit touching the kneecap. And the stretch only goes right on that part that I'm sticking. You want the ends, you literally just take the tape off and let them fall flat. So there's no stretch on them and that's because I only want the support right in here I don't want to be pulling my kneecap around to the side. Okay, first piece, smooth it down. Mm. Now, I'm going to double up here. So, mm, twist this, pull it open. I'm going to place this so that it overlaps and there's just a tiny gap. So I'm moving it down just a little, again, out to 100%, back to 80. Put it down. Now, I've been doing this so much that I have tan lines on my legs, so I can use those as a guide. Now, the last piece is much longer and I'm gonna round these corners real fast. So for me, the pain that I generally am experiencing is kind of on the outside and a little bit of the front of my kneecap. So I'm gonna wrap this around the lateral side 
But if you're having pain on the inside of your kneecap, you would just reverse it and do it there. If you're having general all over pain, you could do two strips. So one on the lateral and one on the medial side. Now, for this one, the easiest thing to do is do kind of a four finger from your kneecap so that you can figure out the spacing for where you wanna place it to start on your thigh. And they call that anchoring. So in this case, I'm ripping right towards the end. And again, I have tan lines, so I'm just gonna place it in the exact same spot. Okay, so no pressure there. I'm just anchoring it down really good. Now, this is a two-parter. So part one, we're stretching all the way out to that 100, back to 50, back to about 25. In other words, not a whole lot of tension here. And I'm going to that spot where I was having pain. So laying it down, get that tight. Now, the last part, roll it out and hold on, 100, back to 80, to about 70. And then I'm wrapping around and down just a little bit. And again, stopping so that the anchor is just laying no tension on it. Now, for me, the reason this seems to be working is it's lifting the kneecap just enough that it's not rubbing where I have some missing cartilage and it's providing just a little bit of that extra support on the outside. I hope this works for you. There's a lot more information in the blog post on all the other things I'm doing in terms of anti-inflammatories, which are not taking drugs, but the actual like things you can do to get your body to start working on the healing. I'm also sharing a video on the physical therapy exercises that I'm doing to regain extension, mobility, strength, and all of that. Good luck. Run strong, friends.